Short Stories by the Storyteller Chapter 1 The Path Adam was walking down the street. It was a windy day in Yorkshire. The wind cut through his skin like a butcher's blade. He pulled his collar over him, a meek attempt to shield himself from the icy wind. The wind howled like an animal in pain in his ears. Adam tried to block out the sound by thinking of his mum's hot Sunday roast that is waiting for him at home. He can taste the aroma of the beef stew already. He decided to take a different route to his house. The route is within a dark, gloomy forest. People in Yorkshire have said to avoid the forest when it is dark. There has been stories of people vanishing. Adam struck the negative thoughts off and continued on the path. The path was riddled with sharp rocks and dead leaves that had fallen from their claw-like branches. It was getting dark and Adam, only 12 years old, was getting a bit frightened. He quickened his pace while trying to avoid the sharp rocks and twigs. Suddenly, he heard a crack. He turned his head. Who is there? He said in a strong voice. In order to master fear in his voice, there was a complete silence. Adam continued his walk. The hairs on the back of his neck started to rise. There is something wrong. I need to get home fast. He muttered to himself. He finally reached to his door. He was about to knock on the ebony wood door when suddenly he felt a tight grip on his shoulder. In his ear, he heard, Don't fret in a land that is forbidden for you, child. Adam froze in fear, too afraid to face the sinister person or thing that was behind him. His mom suddenly opened the door. Oh, Adam, love, you gave me a fright. Come in, it is cold out there, darling. She pulled him into the house and closed the door. Adam didn't say anything and took off his shoes and coat. Adam, darling, are you alright? Yes, mom. I was just distracted by the delicious smell of your Sunday roast. I can't wait, I'm starving. You're sure you're right? It looked like you saw a ghost. Nah, mom, it's fine. Adam gave her a weak smile. Deep down inside, he felt some form of terror. Like he has awakened a beast inside the forest and made it upset. He sat down and gulped his mom's stew. Maybe we all should be careful where we walk next time. You never know what you will meet over there. Or worse, to make it angry. The end.